Okay, uh, just done a supermarket shop. Well, I did it yesterday and got myself some supermarket beers because now and again I'll just see what sort of um, new ones crop up on the list because they do now and again. Um, and this is one of them, it's from Fuller's. And I haven't seen a review for this yet, so I don't know if I'm going to be the first one to do the review of it, um, which would be nice. But it's from the Fuller's Brewery and it's their Mighty Atom. 2.8% so it's a tiny tiny beer I looked up on rate beer just previously to have a quick look at um, the specs on it to see what type it was uh, it's a malty, malty sort of ale but it's only 84 calories so a big old bottle and it's 84 calories so you know it's good for dieting as well so <laughs> but anyway we'll see how it tastes let's give you some info on it okay this is Mighty Atom is a lower strength ale that doesn't compromise on flavour Crystal and Caragold malts in the grist deliver a good malt base over which no fewer than five varieties of hop create a distinctively bitter, refreshing finish. 2.8%, uh, big flavour, low strength, and it's in the, um, the uh, typical sort of Fuller's bottle, which is always pretty. There you go. Let's give it a go. It was pretty cheap as well. I think it was only about £1.39 or something like that. 2.8%. Blimey. Sorry about the washing machine again. But you know where it is. Right. As you can see by the colour, it's a nice sort of dark golden colour. Well, not too dark, but you know. You get the idea. Pretty nice white head. A uh, little bit foamy. Bright, bright white. Looks very, very pretty in the glass, so let's give it a nose. Oh, that's quite nice. Um, I'm getting some nice, sweet malts. A little bit of brown bread. Tiny bit of red apple. Also get like a smell like freshly baked scones um, or scones or whatever you want to pronounce it. But it smells really nice. So let's go for it. Cheers guys. 2.8% so I better be careful with this one. That is really nice. It's nothing um, full on or, you know, amazingly different, but it just tastes like a nice Fuller's beer. Um, nice bit of carbonation, you're getting a nice, a very sort of light, um, sort of bready malt notes on the tongue, a little bit of bitterness <clears throat> which uh, centers on, which sort of centers on the middle of the tongue middle being the center, um, but you know and it's nice and crisp and refreshing, it's got quite a nice lingering aftertaste as well you're getting a nice bitter aftertaste which, um, which sticks around for a while it is very light um, if I was to liken it to another Fuller's beer, I'd probably say maybe a lighter version of the ESB or something like that. But, oh, my washing machine stopped. What's going on there? <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, it's um, it's really nice. It's very light, very crisp, um, and it's got those sort of typical British Fuller, Fuller's flavour, you know, that um, which I absolutely love anyway because I love Fuller's. So. And to say it's 2.8% is um, is very impressive. If some, if that was poured for me in a pub, I would have put it at about a 4% or something like you know, just like a, a typical Fuller's beer. Getting a little bit of grapefruit. Tiny little bit of lemon as well, but all in all, you're getting a nice earthy sort of sweet malt 
combined with its bitterness, which I said, which sits on the centre of the tongue, and then it leaves you with a nice, crisp, slightly bitter finish, which lingers around for a good, for a good amount of time. 2.8%, that is mad. Um, and it's good as well, because, you know, if you want to have a beer at lunchtime, you're at work or something like that, but you don't want anything that's going to sort of slow you down a bit or anything like that, you know, 2.8%, bloody hell. Get a bottle of that down your neck. It's got lovely flavours as well. So, if you see it, give it a go. If you can't get hold of this and you're, and you're interested in reviewing it, let me know, because I can get it from my supermarket. It's pretty available. And, um, lovely jubbly. So, thank you very much for watching. And, um, hopefully I'll be going to Fuller's in March with Mr. Terry K Beer Goggles. Uh, and also, Rob from Hopzine. Um, we're trying to get Simon from the Royal Guard. I don't know if he can make it. But, we shall see what happens. Uh, shout out to... Amanda Hunt from Fuller's, lovely, lovely Amanda. Uh, chat to her quite a lot on Facebook. Also Adam and uh, all the other guys down at Fuller's. So thank you very, very much, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.